we saw the movie and said, wow, that's funny. That's pretty much as the story of our lives. But with a little difference, you know, there are only two paparazzis there. We used to have like a 300. Too much opens tomorrow. There's a showbiz adage that Japanese audiences are so polite you cannot even hear the applause. Don't believe it. When Mariah Carey rocks the house of the rising sun, you cannot hear yourself think. Here's Bob Goen. Nice and easy, folks. E.T. had the exclusive with Mariah Carey in Tokyo. Fans swarmed around her as she began her very first international tour. All day long, the Japanese followed our American pop princess. Thank you very much, From that first note, Mariah electrified a sellout crowd in one of the world's largest arenas. You think you're in a huge place when you're like in Madison Square Garden and it's 15,000 people or whatever, but then here it's like, you know, 47,000 people and it's just this huge sea of people. Mariah even got the crowd to sing along with her newest hit, Always Be My Baby. I mean, you don't know exactly how much they understand because it's a different language, you know. I think they have a really good time, so. Clearly, Mariah had crashed through any language barrier. Can I teach E.T. some Japanese? Aishitimasu. <laughs> that means I love you. Well, you saw the wild response from her Far East fans, but just how big a hit was Mariah over there? Well, she was the biggest ever at the Tokyo Dome. She broke the gate receipt record that was formerly held by the Rolling Stones. So, oh, 